Look at those shiny things. Do you wear those all the time? <laughs> um, I think I'd break my neck. Two of them. Two. So, so two gold medals. And what what were they both for? Um, the 400 meter freestyle, and then a four by 100 medley relay. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. The race was super close, right? What yeah. do you think that like? What did you go deep down inside to to pull through and win it? What was it? Honestly, I just did my last flip turn, and I knew I was pretty close, and so. Um, I really just put my head down and I was like, give it everything you got. Like, you have a chance at getting a gold medal right here. And so that's what I did. And I was shocked when I hit the wall. Could you, could you, so you can see her. Even I the, couldn't. You couldn't see her. The whole last 50, I couldn't see her. Really? And so it was a complete shock. Because she was so wall. close to you, you'd think can that you would see. Can you tell how close you guys are? Um, I couldn't. Like, typically, like on a flip turn, you can. But like, when you're just like swimming, you can't. Wow. And it's not really good to look at the other people. They tell you not to. Yeah, well, yeah, you, you're just, you've got to just focus on yourself. So you grew up with both legs yeah. until you were four, 15 years old? 14. 14 years old. So you lost one leg and then the second leg. And then you decide, because you were a swimmer before. Yeah. And you decide, that's not going to stop me. I'm going to continue to swim. Yeah, okay. so I was an elite athlete. And when I was 14 years old, I was top 20 in the country in the mile. And so I loved swimming. It was a huge part of my life. And um, unfortunately, I had an injury, and we did surgery after surgery, and there was nothing they could do because I got a major staph infection. Oof. And they told me the only thing they could do is amputate my leg. So we did that, and as a family, we just decided to move forward, and that's what we did. I got back into swimming. I got into Paris swimming, and I was national champion in two events. And things were just looking up, and then... The next month, I was hopping three steps with my prosthetic off, and my right leg or my right foot shattered completely. <gasps> and so we saw doctors and everything, and they realized that I have an extremely rare vascular disease that I don't get blood flow from mid calf down. And so the only thing they could do was amputate my remaining leg. Wow. Did you think that you would ever get back in the pool after that? Absolutely not. <laughs> People always told me they were like, "You're gonna get back in the pool and everything," and I was like, "How do you swim with no legs? Like it's just you can't do it." Yes, you, you can. did it. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, but how exhausting is that? Because because you use your when you were swimming before with legs, you're using your legs to kick. So now it's all arms, all you're just. I mean, how much more exhausting is that? Oh my gosh! The first time I got in the pool, I started like kicking right away because my kick was a huge part of my stroke and I didn't move anywhere. If anything, I moved backwards. So <laughs> it was a huge shock to me. And so, um, you know, I only had a year to train for Tokyo. So what? what? Getting <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it was just, you know, I gave it everything I got. Um, I was training three to four times a day during quarantine. And so um, I'm really happy with where I'm at, but I still have a long way to go. Not really. <laughs> you, <laughs> you won the Olympics. Two gold medals. Um, and I know you have a lot of celebrities that are reaching out to congratulate you. Who's been reaching out? Yeah, Kris Jenner reached out to me, which was so amazing. It was so cool to be able to hear from her. And then also Katie Ledecky reached out to me, which was just amazing because ever since I was a young swimmer, I've always looked up to her. So. Well, I think that we maybe have a little message for you. Hey Morgan, it's Katie Ledecky here. I just want to say a big congratulations on your performance in Tokyo. You inspired so many people. So enjoy these moments celebrating with your family and friends. It's an honor to be your teammate and I can't wait to congratulate you in person. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a break. More with Morgan after this. And so you're gonna go for the, for the next Olympics as well, right? Obviously. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> And we were talking during the break. You've been a fan of the show, and uh, I love that you're here. Oh, it's been such an honor to be able to just follow your journey and be able to be here. I've been watching you since I was in elementary school. So to be here on the stage is just absolutely incredible. Yeah. I'm glad I waited one more year. <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. All right, so you're going to keep swimming, so we wanted to give you some, uh, some new swim gear. <laughs> I'm sure you'll wear that. Oh, yeah. For sure. These um, little yeah. diamond studs are really going to help me swim fast. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> Look at the hat. <laughs> there's, there's nothing wrong with that hat.